In Going Under, there are five mentors for you to complete tasks for. Completing each task unlocks special abilities or perks that equipping that mentor will give you. Each mentor has eight different tasks for you to complete. Some of these tasks are pretty straightforward and some can be pretty tricky. I'll go over how to complete each task for Swamp in this video so you can unlock all his abilities and the trophy along with it. Alright, let's get into it. Swamp's first task is to light 30 things on fire. This can be done a lot of different ways. One of the easiest ways I found is in the sticks dungeon as there are a lot of torches on the walls here. You can pick up a torch and easily light things like the tables on fire as well as enemies and different items. You can also use abilities or weapons that have fire damage to cause this effect as well. Just do some damage with it, light things on fire, and you'll get this one done. Swamp's first skill is actually really useful. If you have Swamp equipped, he will actually show up in all the shops when you go through the dungeons. If you speak to him, he'll actually steal one of the items there and you can then take it for free. This can come in really clutch if you don't have enough money to buy something. Swamp's second task is to run over a car with your cart. This one I find is easiest in the Joblin dungeon as you'll find different encounters with enemies in cars. You can go at this one of a few different ways. Sometimes you'll find an encounter where there are actually two cars in it already, so you can take one out, take the car, and then drive over the other one. Or you can use an app to get the Styx coin car and drive over another car just to finish it. Or if you've leveled up Ray to the max, you actually start each dungeon with his car, so you can actually drive over another car really easily with it. Just keep running into the other car with your car, and you'll flatten it and complete this task. Swamp's third task is actually really easy, to eat a sandwich when you're not even hungry. This basically just means when you're full of health to eat any item. You could go to a shop and buy an item to eat something, or you could get one from an encounter. The easiest way to complete this one is to equip Fern as your mentor once you've leveled them up so that he'll pack you a lunch. This way you start the dungeon with food and you can just eat one right away and be done with this task. Swamp's second skill is pretty interesting, as Swamp Cubes will appear in the dungeons. If you open these, you'll get some pretty cool items, it's just that their durability is going to be very low. Swamp's next task is to go on a successful date. You'll probably do this one naturally just going through the Winky Dink dungeon. Once per floor, you'll encounter a room where you can go on a date with an enemy. To go on a successful date, you can't take any damage during this fight, so just make sure that you're dodging a lot and that you don't take any damage while you take out the enemy. As long as you don't take any damage, they'll join you and help you fight. His next task is to crash the party in the Winky Dink Dungeon. This again is a really simple one, all you have to do is go through the Winky Dink Dungeon until you find the room where there's a pizza party happening. Fight all the enemies and you'll complete this task. Once you find the room with the check mark, just defeat all the enemies inside and you'll complete this task. Swamp's third skill is actually really useful. It'll actually let you start each floor of the dungeon with some monsters as allies. Swamp's next task is to fill your inventory with slime. This is another one that can easily be done in the Winky Dink dungeon as there are lots of slime enemies. All you need to do is defeat some of the slime enemies and they'll leave little slime balls behind. Pick up three slime balls so that you have one in each of your inventory slots and you'll complete this task. Swamp's next task is to start a polyamorous relationship. This was definitely one of the most difficult and most frustrating ones to figure out, so hopefully this will help you out. Again, this is another task that you need to complete in the Winky Dink Dungeon. To complete this one, you need to go on two successful dates in one run without having your partner die. Since you can only go on one date per floor, this can be really tricky as you have to make sure that the partner that you have joined you does not die. This means going through each level really fast, trying to protect them at all costs, and basically just not letting them take damage. 
This is even more difficult because to complete the date you can't take any damage. So again, it makes it difficult because you can't mess up. As long as you can finish those two dates successfully in one run while keeping them both alive, you'll complete this task. Swamp's final task is really easy, to buy a dank gaming rig from the Stixcoin Cafe. As it says in the task, you have to do this one in the Stixcoin Dungeon. Basically just fight your way through and make it down to the second floor. Once you make it into the shop on the second floor, you'll find the rig there where you can either buy it or hopefully have Swamp steal it, and that way you don't have to pay anything. That's it, then you're done all of his tasks. Swamp's final skill lets you meet him in his chill room. This room lets you get some items as well as if you speak to him you can get some different abilities. I found that if you leave the room and come back and speak to him again he can actually give you different abilities so if you keep going out and coming back in a few times you can get a few different abilities. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for even more going under tips and tricks. That's it for now, as always, happy gaming.